Morning, kiddos. It's Pops. You know what it do. I love you. I miss you. I'm thinking about you. <laughs> uh, it's February 5th, 2022. Verse of the day. Uh, Proverbs 5, 1 through 2. Uh, 1. My son, be attentive to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding. 2. That you may keep discretion in your lips and regard knowledge. Yeah, the, the, <clears throat> there's a lot of good ones in there that I like for this morning, but I didn't really feel like maybe some of them were appropriate talking or, you know, I mean, I guess nothing bad is in the Bible, but it's just talking about, um, I don't know. Anyway, I just picked those two I thought were cool for me to say to my kiddos, I guess, is what I'm saying. So, uh, okay, I like that one. I already know. I wrote a phone call, Keep Coming Back. So this one's called uh, Keep Coming Back, February 5th. And um, uh, we are grateful that we are, oh, hold on, uh, I got to re-alter myself, reposition myself, my arm's hurting, I was holding my phone, my arm's hurting, okay, it's, uh, you know, uh, keep coming back, February 5th, we are grateful that we were made so welcome at meetings that we felt comfortable, basic text, page 83, remember how scared we were when we walked into our first NA meeting, yep, even if we walked in with a friend, most of us should call how difficult it was to attend that first meeting. What was it that kept us coming back? Most of us have grateful memories of the welcome we were given and how comfortable that made us feel. When we raised our hand as a newcomer, we opened the door for other newcomers to approach us and welcome us. Sometimes the difference between those addicts who walk back out the door of their first meeting never return to NA, and the addicts who stay to seek recovery is the simple hug of an NA member. When we have been clean a while, it's easy to step back from the procession of newcomers. After all, we've seen so many people come and go, but members with some clean time can make the difference between the addict who doesn't return and the addict who keeps coming back. By offering our phone numbers a hug or just a warm welcome, we extend the hand of Narcotics Anonymous to the addict who still suffers. Just for today, I remember the welcome I was given when I first came to NA. Today, I will express my gratitude by offering a hug to a newcomer. Yeah. Yeah, I think Philly Joe showed me the most love out of anybody I've ever met in the rooms, man. He's a good dude. Uh, he's my sponsor. But, well, I guess I'm just kind of on my own right now, you know? But uh, I want to make sure that I just didn't want to waste his time, so I made sure that I just want to get, make sure I get like 30 solid days under, um, with no 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 marijuana in my system. I just want to make sure I got 30, even though it's legal and all that stuff, I just don't want to do that stuff, man, so. I want to make sure I just don't want to keep having to go through all that feeling guilty, feel like I was doing it for him, feeling like, you know, or I was doing it for anyone else. I got to do it for me. So I was like, I just asked him if he just, if he would be willing to be my sponsor once I got 30 days solid under my belt. Cause you know, they don't want, I don't want to waste their time either, you know? So once I get to 30 days, man, he told me, yeah, I keep coming back and I keep going to meetings and stuff. So, um, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that, man. So I look forward to that, man. And, uh, uh, 30 days here I come, you know, type stuff, you know, anyways, so, um, yeah, kiddos, man, I just want to tell you that I love you, I make sure I'm thinking about you, um, <laughs> oh, that's cute, this little girl's on TV dancing, I'm, I'm watching Ridiculousness, she was getting it, but anyways, um, I love you, kiddos, and I miss you, and I'm thinking about you, and God bless. What's up, kiddos, oh my goodness, Pops, man, I'm sorry, just got out of the shower, just got in the evening, got a little fat butt, and uh, <sighs> um, I had a good day today for the most part, went to the meeting, um, I door dashed, I'm tired, kiddo, just took my medicine and stuff, and, um, my arm, I did it to the wrong way, but yeah, um, so, um, there's my star going off. It's not my own. Stop it. Um, yeah, I just want to tell you that I love you. I make sure I'm thinking about you, man. And uh, I can't wait to see you kiddos again, man. Yeah, I've been wondering which. <laughs> yeah, happy thoughts, man. Good thoughts. Yeah, I had a productive day today, man. I did DoorDash from like 10.30 to noon, and then I did from like 4.30 to 8.30 or something. Yeah, man. It was my first day ever doing it. It was cool. It was all right. Got frustrated a couple times, but I worked it out, man. 
I don't want to waste yourself out, man. You know? Hey, they have a try. <laughs> I had a couple of orders where they go to the military base. So I go to, I don't know that. I was going to the military base. I go to the military base. I can't get in. Military police found me at the gate. They were going around, took my ID, like, like not like snatched it from me, but like held on to it until I, I got to, back around to the gate or whatever, and then they gave it back to me and stuff. Military police is everywhere. That was kind of crazy. I've never been, you know, on a military base or anything like that, you know, or to the gate or anything, but. Yeah, so the next time I had, like, that I was, like, I seen that was so far away. I was, like, I had texted him. I was, like, man, if this is much of the base, I can't go in there. They was, like, go to gate three. And I was, like, <laughs> man, I tried to find that earlier, man. I was at the wrong gate. And I don't know how to get to the, I don't know how to get, man, I couldn't do it. So I just I had to call the um, place and cancel it myself or the, for them so that they didn't have to pay cancellation fee. So that's pretty cool, but. Yeah, man. Uh, so the way I told me, get up. Because I was like, well, what do I do with the food now? <laughs> you know, my fat tail was like, he was like, give it to a homeless guy or something or throw it away or eat it or whatever. And um, so I did. I'm not going to tell you which one I did. But, <laughs> but uh, no, I did, I would have gave it to a homeless person. But honestly, it was in the, I just put on a floor of my car, man, and I just forgot about it until I was done, you know, I just when I got all the way back, I was like, I don't even know what's in it, I, you know so I ate a chicken sandwich, but <laughs> I love you kiddos, man, I miss you, man yeah, just gotta brush my teeth, about to go to bed, take my medicine you know my arm's kind of bothering me it always does, but it does weird stuff sometimes, man, yeah uh, what else, kiddos? Um, that's pretty much it, man. For the most part, I have stuff today. Um, clean, I'm sober. And, uh, yeah, man, just kind of watching the uh, Lakers game. Lakers and Knicks game. I can't stand LeBron, but I'm not a hater, but I don't hate him or nothing. Like, I'm not even a sports fan like that, but I think he's overrated. <laughs> but, um, anyways. I actually, it's just not exciting to watch to me. Like I, I grew up on Jordan. Jordan was just exciting to watch. LeBron is just it's not exciting to me, man. It's just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. Everybody wants to compare him. Well, there's no comparison to me. But anyways, I love you, kiddos. I miss you. God, why I keep going on like that? And I'm thinking about you. And God bless.